Hey everyone, got it's it. Einstein, your uh, maybe favorite or at least top 20 uh, crypto and blockchain attorney located here in sunny, but no dark Dubai. Uh, continuing my series of fast and efficient, hard hitting or soft hitting videos with some of my favorite people. Uh, of course, what makes them favorite is their personalities, their impact and what they have to say. So on that note, I would very much like to welcome James Bowater onto, onto the show, onto the interview. Uh, I've known James for several years. He's been, I probably want to get to know him better. He is a boisterous presence, a charismatic <laughs> presence, and a fantastic organizer of this fest, Southern Alia. You know, he'll, he'll describe it better oh. than I can. But James, thank you for making the time. I, I know you're really busy, so I appreciate it. It's a real so pleasure. So, hey, Gordon, and uh, congratulations on the uh, getting married. Thank you, my friend. It's been a long road. I think you were watching part of it or saw me struggling. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I think you've certainly been on one of the boats. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was right after the separate. Yeah, there's, I should do a whole video on that freaking disaster of a marriage and the recovery, but that's okay. 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 All right. Well, let, let, I, think, I think that's the point where we move on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll, we'll go up to the pub. Okay, James, a lot to talk about, including the Digital Commonwealth with a the. But let's talk about your background. You seem like a multifaceted kind of guy. Just give us a little bit of history, um, your professional and maybe social progression. And then we can talk on you know, yeah, touch on Jake City. I, and I, we'll... I think that I, I don't, I, I'm look. I'm 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 yes, 52. So uh, I don't I don't propose to go all the way back to the beginning, if that makes sense. But you know, I think I think that what's germane to the conversation, obviously, is. You know, my entry point into the digital asset space, I guess. Um, so it's, it, it, I'll try and keep this concise, but I was trying to do some commodity stuff um, involving gold, which took me to the Philippines. Um, and I, I stayed um, uh, in Makati for three months and I uh, got to know uh, um, the, the, the movers and shakers there. And I was fascinated by the idea of doing, say, fractionalized ownership, making things more accessible to the man in the street. So I had this sort of spurious idea of creating the Southeast, a very grand name, the Southeast Asian Gold Corporation or something like that. Mm -hmm. But the idea, the idea that I had, and this was back in 2011, was to um, look at ways you could enable, say, a, a, you know, a, a man in the street to buy um, gold. Um, mm -hmm for like 20 bucks or something like that and you get a little like a, the equivalent of a lottery ticket um but the gold would be stored at the central bank so in this case the central bank of the philippines and all that stuff it, it was great ideas but it, it it didn't go anywhere all right it didn't go anywhere but you can see that the the ownership fractionalization unique identity of, of ownership that started to resonate and it was also during that, that time that i met um, a cool cat who was in, uh, who was a tech guy um, and uh, a mining geologist engineer, and that became. A, I'm going to point put a pin in this because it's relevant to later. Right. So I then went back to the UK and thought, what am I going to do? And I actually wanted to get involved um, in supporting a father and son team who were specialists in their fields of holography. Holography. A holography, yeah. Um, okay. And to that end, um, I wanted to commercialize. So basically, you know the Visa Dove on the back of your sure, credit yeah. card, and you know the, the the shiny the shiny thing on your bank notes back in the day. So these guys um, were in, in involved in the creation of the actual Visa Dove, and uh, and the, I think he worked at Delarue and and uh, for a time and. Basically, this embossed holo hologram technology, so anti-counterfeiting, was um, de rigueur and helped a lot of companies prevent fraud, um, and, and, and they're still used to this day. However, the, the trouble is, is that the, the, the technology became relatively quickly um, and reasonably convincingly counterfeitable itself. So the actual thing that's designed to prevent counterfeit became counterfeitable, uh, if that's the um, even a word. So during that time, we also got contacted by somebody who was wanting to do the 30th anniversary of Live Aid. 
um, under a different name called the the, the Festival of Hope, um, and uh, they needed to raise money to put this event on. And the technology that I brought, you know, that I was helping bring to the table was something called full volume, uh, sorry, full color, three dimensional volume holography, something like that. Oh, oh, um, the number four. Yeah, no, full, full, not four, full, as in oh, like, four. like, you know, man here is very colorful. Got it, full, full color. So you got the, the entire spectrum of color. So the okay, idea you, being. You, 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 hold on, James, I want to ask you one thing. Just so I know, is your background, is your education technical, business? Like, wh wh where's your brain No, where's your, where's I, your I, brain I think from? I, my, my, my familial heritage is that, um, that, 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 is, is that my, my grandfather was the biggest paper manufacturer in the world. And, and, and that sounds wonderful, uh, except he died when my dad was 19 and, 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 and the, the, family fortune went with him but you know ingrained in my dna is has always been this stuff and it afforded me very kindly you know i mean as i said it, the huge wealth disappeared with him but there was enough left to be able to send me to school and i i went to eton um uh, the public school next to windsor mm -hmm. um in fact i actually literally this last week went to pay my respects at the memorial of my house master john toomer who was a a legend in his own time himself and it was wonderful, wonderful to see all my old school school chums then but um it, it and, and sorry, your your area of study was Oh, I mean, I, that, that was just that was that was just um, regular studies, and then I, 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 I unfortunately was badly diagnosed with epilepsy, so I had to deal with that. And when I say badly, it was a misdiagnosis. So um, I was actually the top army scholar for my generation at that time, and uh, you know, for my year or whatever it is, and I was due to join the Blues and Royals. Fun enough. Um, but uh, I couldn't do that, so I had to go in a completely different direction. So I think I went, I went off to Los Angeles to um, be a film director, and then I came back. I wanted to be a pop star, and then I got an album deal and all that sort of shit. And it didn't. It, none of it. None of it worked out. But it's all completely random stuff, right? But um, you know, manufacturing, packaging industry, the name uh, still resonated in that space. So when this holographics. Okay. which, you know, effectively is packaging, right, um, came about. Um, you, you need to combine technology, um, in, my, in my view, um, to make it more powerful as a deterrent um, in, in the counterfeiting space anyway. So this is where, you know, we started looking at QR codes and, and unique serialization and all of those sorts of things which start to now ring, ring bells, right? Yeah. And um, a, a chap who was fascinated, as I said, going back to the concert thing, they were fascinated by holograms and they knew that merchandise and all of that kind of stuff was going to be very important to what they were doing. Um, and so what better way to, to, to do this than, than to invest in a hologram mastering company that was going to make these uh, amazing, you know, combined. So we, we, I, I, I created something called Holotronics, which was, a, a combination of holograms and printed electronics. And mm -hmm. we got very, very close, but sadly undercapitalized. But the point being is, is that this is when I was exposed to um, uh, cryptographic currency. And in fact... Um, when, when was that? What year, more or less? 2014. 2014. Pretty early. So, okay. Yeah, but I, I you know, I'm, I'm such an idiot because I didn't, you know, I... I, I I was so focused on on trying to you know raise funds for the business to keep everything going because you know research and development is a very 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 capital intensive thing and mm. I didn't I just thought okay this blockchain thing or this crypto thing and, you know it it, it it was there but it it sort of it passed me by okay um, but Sorry, they wanted you're, to you're do not the only one it, it took me more, yeah you and I got exposed to it I got exposed to it in 2014 also. And I was mm -hmm. so enraptured with Ukraine and Odessa and the people, you know, all the other stuff that is like, I was there for black. But I'm, stuff, I'm, but it, it, I, I, I've spent, I spent uh, some lovely weekends in, in Kiev. Um, yeah. <laughs> my favorite bar being Loggerhead, which was uh, a speakeasy, do you know? Uh, no, but it sounds, sounds great. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm saying, you know, I'll, yeah, anyway. we, we all, 
Look, I understand what you mean, but we, we all take our own path to exactly, exactly. We all take our own path. <laughs> Yeah. But but now let's drink, draw the string back to the Philippines, my friend who was out there. When I had to walk away, sadly, from the from the hologram business, um, because we we ran out of runway, it mm -hmm. happens to us all. Um, uh, and it was really sad actually because it was such a fantastic idea, and I, I think to this day actually. Combining technologies is the way forward, but you know that's something I can dust off later if 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 life is a bit more kind. Anywho, so so um, he called up and and uh, my friend from the Philippines uh, uh, saying um, that I'd met in the Philippines. He wasn't a Filipino. I'm um, saying that he'd found a um, a gold mine in Senegal, um, which was um, out of the 200 he had evaluated in his in his career. Mm. was hands down at the top of the list, right? So in other words, low cost of production, ubiquitous amounts, yada, 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 yada. So, um, and this was when I met um, uh, sort of vicariously uh, Eric Poulier, um, who did uh, Vatomic uh, through a mutual friend called Gary Stimson, and they'd raised in their ICO, what, uh, you know, what you mean international copyright you know office or something yeah. <laughs> you know acronyms start flying around but that's when i learned about smart contracts and also the, the the possibility of of raising phenomenal amounts of capital um and all of that jazz so i, I went so putting two to two together and then dusting off the idea of the hope gold coin i went wow why don't we why don't we look at how we can make this work. So I, I, I came up with um, Vorium, uh, which was Aureus Aurea Aureum, like, mm -hmm. you know, a gold coin, eight grams of gold, um, back in Julius Caesar's time, put a V at the front, front make it virtual, Vorium, there you go, you've got a name. You've got a name. Sure. And actually the idea was, again, very strong. It was... Um, recognizing that you should never have a single point of failure the idea would be to if we could raise the capital would be to do this gold mine in senegal um which would have been almost like the oh that's the underpin, underpin you know engine room of cash to underpin what we wanted to do and then uh but, but as i said one single mine wouldn't have been enough and one single commodity wouldn't have been enough so in essence, the idea of Orium was was to create a a basket of commodities that were chosen for their long term growth potential. So at the time, we thought, you know, we thought about cobalt, lithium, tungsten, gold, um, decarbonization, bloody 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 blah, blah. But you know, Canada, Philippines, uh, Africa, you know, wherever, wherever, wherever. So so there wouldn't be any one single failure point. That was the theory. And you're also, uh, in a way, it's, it's funny, when you were beginning to describe it, I was thinking about Facebook's Libra, because they, they were doing a currency backed by, but not exchangeable for a basket of other things. And I yeah. thought you were going in that direction, and then you pivoted, but you were saying it's sort of a basket of commodities backing yeah. this. Yeah, so because it is, it, it is currency-like, but it also has appreciation. Yeah, but but don't 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 forget that I I I I I was still locked in that old school of thought. I didn't understand digital scarcity, right? Okay. Um, and I just thought, no, surely you've got to back something with something. I was in that mindset, and 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 actually, you know, it 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 made a lot of sense. But of course, um, this was in uh, uh, mid to late twenty seventeen. And we got, I got so far in, we would, it was going, but could you find for love nor money, anyone who was involved in the industry with a phone number? Mm -hmm. you, I couldn't find anyone to talk to. And even then, YouTube educational videos were virtually non-existent. And I found, I found a, a, an engineering company called IOHK in, 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 um, because again, th this 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 goes back to Vorium. Uh, um, I, I, I can't wait to hear how Charles plays into this. 
Yeah, wait, wait, wait. This is well. This is this is this is how it all kind of begins in a sense because with Vorium, we uh, were talking with a, a a NASA scientist guy who's Native American, and 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 he, um, I think he lived in Costa Rica or something. I can't remember, but he said um, very clearly, if you're going into the blockchain space, check out a project called Cardano, and and. And that's when I, that's that led me to IOHK, and then trying to find you know a, a phone number didn't exist, um, and I sent lots of um, emails saying, "Oh, I'd like to build a cryptocurrency, please." You know, I was just completely ooh, naive shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And um, and I couldn't get any answers or replies or anything. So um, I, I I saw that um, they were going to do a an event in um in 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 london uh in may of 2018 so um i started being a bit of a stalker and i don't you know i just turned up at this this event and and actually i did i, I, I you know and this is charles is an incredibly good speaker and um he uh was on stage at the truman brewery i think it was the 15th of may 2018 or whatever mm -hmm. And he talked um, extensively about, you know, the the, the subject and, in, and 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 saying that within the blockchain space that interoperability, sustainability, and scalability were the three components to make this industry work. Mm -hmm. But you know, this is also allied to the fact. Don't forget that I think the 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 the, the bubble had burst, or was bursting, or in the process of bursting, and the, and the ICO people were going to jail and. I was getting very little to no traction on Vorium because I was still in my research phase. Mm -hmm. So, and, and then, and then at that time, at that time also was when I was um, uh, I, I ran into my friend um, Harry Owen, who's the who's now the returned chief operating officer of City AM, and and I pitched in the idea of saying, would you do you think the the city audience would be interested your your traditional tradfi as we call them now audience would be interested in this nascent technology mm -hmm. you know you do these things like blockchain and beer and pizza and stuff you know it's very it's very cool but um you know it's it's an important topic and for for you know, traditional finance people to understand it, I think um, it's going to be very valuable. What do you think? And then that's that, that to, to the birth point of crypto AM was the sort of the Genesis block was, was um, uh, February. Uh, and in fact, the reason I hold, you know, my annual sort of birthday bash mm -hmm. for digital asset space uh, at Boysdale in Canary Wharf is, is, is because that's where I came up with it. You, you know, I had uh, gone until this moment that you were kind enough to have me publish an article in City AM. Yeah. We, we yeah. did that a couple of years ago. But you, you just, when you said it, you reminded me. I'm like, yeah, that was great publication. Well, you know, listen, I mean, you know, we, we, we it was groundbreaking. You know, we were the first mainstream publisher. Well, you know, because I'm... Like it was it was a joint venture partnership between me and City AM. City AM effectively was the publishing partner. Um, and they were responsible for the invoicing and I was responsible for the content and, and obviously, you know, developing, you know, what, what we could. And, and I'm intensely proud of what I accomplished with that. I mean, it yeah. went from zero, zero to being groundbreaking to being pretty well known, um, I think is fair to say. Um, and, 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 and respected, I, I would also hasten to add, but obviously COVID came along in 2020 and that was, that was, um, <laughs> testing for everybody um but anyway so, so so that 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 sort of so basically vorium died crypto uh, 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 arrived and boom crypto winter kicks in so you know the grand plan of having lots of people paying money to do this that and the other but but we stuck with it we stuck with it we stuck with it and then i think in so sort of soldiered on through, and then I think I, th I think it led to the first awards in uh, in in on the eleventh of March, twenty twenty. Yeah, right. I remember. Guess what that day, guess what guess what that day was, the day oh, the UK well, declared a pandemic. Oh. <laughs>
Um, and by the you, you know, we're, do, we're, do, we're doing a lot of background, but it's fascinating because I, I didn't know all this history about you. Okay, so lucky you. So, so by, 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 listen, Gordon, by the grace of God, right? By the grace of God, um, and, and, I, and I mean this because six days later on St. Patrick's Day, mm -hmm. um, my dear friends who own a, I, I won't go into the, the name of the publication, but it, it, it wouldn't be fair, I don't think. Um, but they were hosting an event at the same venue. Um, it was a big celebration. And um, of course, out of the 220, 30 confirmed people, um, 35 of us turned up. Wow. So if you could imagine, had we gone into lockdown or declared pandemic a week before my event, I would have been toast, absolutely toast. Well, you know, would have been... God's, God's with you. <laughs> yeah, so um, that that was astonishing, actually. And and, and 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 ironically, the other thing that was astonishing about um, uh, the pandemic, and I think the pandemic is actually an important point um, in, in terms of history, because rather like SARS uh, enabled, um, you know, online commerce, Mm -hmm. um uh i think the covid pandemic uh what it did was it 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 gave us the gave birth and rise to qr codes right for sure at restaurants in a, in, a, in, a, in a in a in a ubiquitous way in a ubiquitous way in other words the man in the street suddenly had to deal with qr codes mm -hmm. um you know for um your travel for everything you know your 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 yeah. your and stuff um and it also gave, exactly and also it gave rise to online uh education um mm -hmm. massive you know is it so so i think i think that it, it it acted as an accelerant to the digital asset space but it also had a a different um and much more horrific effect which is obviously the the, the exposure and the clarity or shining the spotlight on 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 the disparity between the digital haves and the digital have not so the digital divide you know and this is why gosh um i know we're jumping around a bit but you wanted that you wanted it so i'm giving it to you so, sorry, so sorry. it's very interesting going back to 2018 mm -hmm. um and having met um very briefly met but listened to what um charles hoskinson had to say on on what he wanted to do, which was one of the, one of the things, was the you know to establish a financial operating system for Africa. In effect, mm -hmm. um, well, fast forward to August, September, yeah, that sort of period. I got to know um, uh, Charles Barnett and Mickey Watkins and um, Josh Watkins, and that gave birth, um, or that was at the birth point, birthing point of World Mobile. Um, and so they had me at hello, right? So this is the reason I mentioned World Mobile is I'm the global ambassador for World Mobile. And that was the first major project outside of Crypto AM that I involved myself with. And, um, and to this day, it's one of my proudest things because it really does address exactly what I'm talking about, which is the, the digital divide, because half the world is unconnected uh literally which is amazing the world is... yeah I and then and then unbanked. well no it's, it's worse than that on the unbanking side of life mm -hmm. it's, it's a much higher statistic on the unbanked side i mean 97 percent or, or of, of continental africa is unbanked for example right. pretty much it's so so my my again genesis block for that was that i i, I brought charles and well, mobile together um, at Plutus Fest in Edinburgh. Um, Cardano uh, Charles or the other Charles? Cardano Charles. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know that. Well, because I, I, I said no, but the, the, the pitch was simple. Charles, you want to build a financial operating system in Africa. Well, you can't really do that unless you can connect to the internet. Mm -hmm. Marry. You know, that 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 becomes a logical progression and 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 um you know i'm 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 so proud of 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 uh, mickey um his brother josh 
Alan Omelet, who I think you know, who lives in Dubai, is the chief operating officer. Charles Barnett's built, building the you know stuff in it. But I mean, you know, we, we you know we we it's it's an astonishing story, and yeah, massively proud of that one, um, and 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 continue to be. And um, uh, actually, we're having a, <laughs> it's actually quite nice to see the market being kind to us for a change, yeah. considering how much we've accomplished. I think we now got. I think I think we're we're in Pakistan, Zanzibar, Mozambique. Uh, I think we're looking at Nigeria, Kenya, but mo mo I mean, most of all, we're in, in the United States as well. Um, and 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 Reno specifically is where the first rollout is happening on that one. So that is super exciting, and is probably hands down one of the finest examples of you know the the blockchain and combine combined technologies all coming together to deliver something that's astonishing. Um, and 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 let me, and made, let, me, made, made, oh, uh, let me endorse what you're saying. I well, I just wanted to finish the most important element. Go 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 the, go go go, James. It, it, it is is um, the sharing economy. All right. And that is that is how, you know, a, a network owned by the people for the people mm -hmm. addressing the digital divide. You can now see all my boxes are being ticked in terms of passion. Right. Got it. Um, and that's why, you know, it, it just always it always, you know, fills me full of joy whenever I talk about World Mobile. Anyway, so so you, 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 you've, you've had your. You've had your tribulations, you've had your pivots, you've had your failures, you've had your moderate successes, and you've had your knock the ball out of the park moments. You've had a lot of diverse experiences. I, I haven't knocked anything out of the park yet. <laughs> well, I, 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 you kind of, you, you, not maybe not in the sense of being a personal billionaire, but when you made that connection um, with the global well, internet. I, 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 yeah, no, I I played my role, uh, you know, and I think that I think that anyone who knows me um, well knows that I'm kind, thoughtful, I care deeply um, mm -hmm. about you know the people that I work with. I care very much about connecting people, and I, it's ironic, isn't it, that we call, we connect the unconnected, serve the underserved, right? <laughs> isn't the sort of strap life well mobile, but that's what I do in my in my life. So I, 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 and I, and I've, I've, I've helped. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy and proud to be, you know, um, the global ambassador for them. But equally, I've, I've, I've helped with Meld. I've helped with Qdos, which is a decentralized compute. I've helped. Um, uh, gosh, um, Cornucopius is one of my favorite ones, which is a, which is an MMORPG, but it's connecting people and. And bringing people to 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 our industry, it's it's pretty cool, it, really cool. It, it is, and I'm gonna give you the compliment that you wanted me to wait on while, while you were wrapped up, which is, right. I, I I like. To to me, the sign of people. There's lots of intelligent people, but to me, the the sign of creative intelligence, or one of the tools of it, maybe, is when you look at areas which would seem at first blush or first glance to be unrelated. Yeah, and put them in this tube of a of a yeah. meat grinder we have in our brains, and yeah, there's a syncretic or synergistic effect, or yeah. something comes out that we wouldn't naturally think of. But when you combine these two things, you produce something new on the planet. It's not just a faster yeah. car or a ten percent more efficient airplane, but you you take the peanut butter and chocolate, you know, and put them together, and yum. You know, to use my favorite example, it's, so it's, it's great. I, 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 I like to sometimes say that I join, I see the dots where other people may not see them, and I and I try and do that. Super. Right. Um. So if you if you just go through that roll call, uh, of those ones, um, I, you know, so decentralized compute. You know, I'm Matt Hawkins uh, and his team at Qdos. Massively successful in data centers. I mean, you know, I, 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 I've never we bonded over a Big Mac in Zurich because we went to an event at the Dolder Ground where there was this huge menu promise, and of course, it was it was. <laughs> I like the Dolder. It was kind of all right. So, yeah. so we got we got in a taxi and went down to um the 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 McDonald's in Zurich next to the Opera House. 
and we just stuffed our faces on Big Macs talking about um, this amazing project, Kudos, which, which, if you think about it, they said, look, you know, there's enough, there's enough computing power on the planet mm -hmm. in existence without the need to build another computer per se, right? Yeah, so we use what we have. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so then you can see my my line of thinking was well, if we could bring Qdos to what with World Mobile with, you know, and then the banking thing, the the lending protocol of Meld, and if you could add to that some digital identity stuff with them, and if you could do that with that and that, boom, you've got this entire interrelated thing. Um, and and you know, Cornucopius is another amazing example because. Again, gaming passed me by completely. I mean, I was a, I was sort of into my movies and music, and I was I could never get out of you know level one on a computer game. I mean, Mario Brothers was my sort of like you know <laughs> Donkey Kong. I mean, uh, I played Pong on Atari for God's sake. I'm a geriatric, right? But these um the, these the these I mean, the boys at Cornucopias have built something astonishing. I mean, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's um. Uh, built on unreal engine 5 it's one of the few projects that has been rolled out on 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 that and you know the, we've got these bloody great domes floating in in and you know the people have ascended from earth and, and we're floating in the sky and you can travel between different domes and again if you haven't seen i, it, I just wrote it down i'm still analog this way I, I will take a look at it now, james yeah. It's funny, you started off like, how long is the interview? You really riffed, and I've let you riff because it's amazing, but I, I don't want to abuse your time. I'm sorry, so, I haven't even got, I haven't even got what, what I'm doing at the moment. Is it? The Digital Commons. <laughs> the. Tell me about it. The, it's just had an amazing up. event. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's more than that, I think. I mean, basically, like, I... I, I, I I want to, I want one, one massive sort of, you know, thing in the rooms all around crypto AM was the name, right? Everyone just assumed I was only interested in crypto. Okay. It could not be more fucking further, excuse my language, from the truth, because what I, what interests me is, is, is real world utility and combination of things. Mm -hmm. Um, and even then, even then, when I defined what crypto AM was, it was AI, blockchain, distributed ledger technology, tokenization, you know, internet of things. All of all of which Sorry, did you say an instanet? In internet of things, IoT. Okay, got it. In internet it, would actually it, be a good name also, but go go ahead. It's okay. No, it's I, I, it, so, but, but the point being is, is that is that really it's about the emerging technologies um, of the future that, that impact our lives, um, and 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 you know that includes fintech as well. But I mean, um, digital against all right. So we in the United Kingdom suffered Brexit, right? Um, at the time, I was working with European colleagues. I, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I, it doesn't matter whether I vote yes, no, why, left or right, whatever. It happened, right? And there's no point bitching about it. Um, so it, it, it led me to, and I don't know if I think you must, I think you know who I mean by the uh, this wonderful person, Loretta Joseph, who. Sure. Um, I I met her at the Cogex. Um, uh, yeah, Charlie Muirhead, who's a very old friend of mine, um, and his brother Richard, who's at Fabric. Um, Cogex was at Tobacco Dock down the road from me in London, and um, and I think Richard Richard Muirhead, who established Fabric VC back then. Mm -hmm had brought to the stage, you know, a blockchain thing for the COGX thing. And, and, and I met and I met Loretta there and, and, and we hit it off immediately because um, my my sort of vibe about post-Brexit Britain is, well, heaven's sake, you know, right on our doorstep, metaphorically, is this astonishing organisation called the Commonwealth, which is, you know, it's got absolutely bugger all to do with empire, right? There were six original member states in 1926, all right? There's Australia, um, Canada, uh, Canada, uh, Newfoundland, Irish Free State, New Zealand, South Africa. 
because Newfoundland wasn't part of Canada back then. And I should know my family, my grandfather lived in Newfoundland because it's where we had one of our paper mills, right? Okay. But anyway, that was 1926. Now it's now it's 56 um, nation states with two and a half billion people um, mm -hmm. with a multiple, you know, trillions of GDP united by one thing, Mr. Lawyer. What do you think that is? Uh, the, the queen, now the king, is the sovereign? Nope, not oh, at all. No, 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 absolutely not. It, they are the, the, the one thing that binds the Commonwealth is English common law. Okay. All right. So harnessing the power of the Commonwealth by creating standardization of 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 of, of um I mean, let's call them virtual assets because it's germane to the conversation. There are too many different definitions around the world of you know, digital asset, real world asset, blah, blah, asset, virtual asset, all the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. The digital representations. Yeah, people like to take ownership of this bit, that bit. I mean, I actually, I thought that I quite raised real world assets when we were talking about, you know, Jade and so Jade Vault, Jade City, which one of my other you know, really cool projects. Mm -hmm. That's actual real material. Look, Jade, 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 Beautiful. Jade, Jade in the ground, right? Mm -hmm. And come on, you know, so you know, if you can tokenize that, um, and, and digitize that into a into a into a tradable form, which means you don't have to ship it around the world and you vault it, blah 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 blah. You know, it, it that 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 to my mind is a real world asset. Bricks and mortar are real world assets. Gold are real world assets, but. Uh, to my mind, digital assets are things like, you know, um, uh, pension funds and insurance stuff and this, that, you know. I, but, I, I call them legal objects. Well, there you go. I mean, it, it, you know, lots and lots of different definitions. And yada, yada, yada. But anyway, so the digital commonwealth, for me, um, it is 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 has been a natural progression. I mean, um, City AM was was is very well known. Was um, ran in. I mean, didn't really recover too much from the um uh, from the from the pandemic, which was you know affected us all hugely. Mm. Uh, it brought me online, which was great. But you know, the, the newspaper. You know, we went to a four day print week. Anyway, the great news is that City AM, which is a wonderful publication, has been bought by you know um, a, a PLC in the UK. Um, but I didn't know that. Okay. It was it was a good time for me to move on to the next phase of my own, you know, path. So we parted company amicably at the end of November, mm -hmm. um, and and really the 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 di the digital Commonwealth is it's inspired by the the values of the Commonwealth itself, um, uh, but it's not confined to the Commonwealth countries. I mean, I, I'm a global person, right? Um, but you know, people have already sort of said, so, well, you know, wealth that's common, that's digital, you know, it's, you can almost reverse it. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's really, I, I, what I'd like it to be is a platform, you know, so the, the sense at the heart of it, it's a community thing and it's a collaborative thing. I want for us all, um, to come together. Uh, for the benefit of everybody. And if we can, because look, politics come and go, you know, administrations come and go, but we're left with the pieces. We're the people who have to continue the business, right? So, okay. okay so, we, so, we, sorry, so it's the event was just the uh, tip of the iceberg breaking the surface, but there's an ideology. The aim, the, my, my aim is to be, a, you know, a community centric. Mm. A uh, platform that harnesses the power of you know emerging technologies and 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 acts as a as a as a as a forum for discussion, debate, and education, collaboration, all the rest of it, um, across the world of digital assets. Okay, right. Beautiful. I would love it. I, you know, I that that the, the, and and I've chosen to do. Um, I mean, my my in my sort of my 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 speech at the Mansion House, and the Mansion House um, is just the most wonderful venue, and it's like 
often described as the mother of all coffee houses, you know, and if you think that original trade and business all emanated from the coffee houses of London, um, mm -hmm. yeah, even, even the, you know, yeah, Lloyd's of London as a perfect example, right? So it, 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 you know, it's, it's the genesis of the, of the digital Commonwealth is about collaboration. And the idea is that we could almost be a, 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 a pla like a, something that hopefully is built to last, um, that remains consistent uh, as, co as governments come and go inevitably. I mean, this year alone, there are 50 elections around the world, I think. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very clear as well that administrations are going to change. We're in a, in, I, th I think the world is probably in the most dangerous state that it's ever been. Um, so, well, certainly since, since the Second World War. Uh, and I don't think anyone is going to argue with that that particular. It's pretty unstable. Uh, well, there's Cuban Missile Crisis was maybe more, but we're not in a good place. I I, I would argue that we're in a much worse place than the Cuban Missile Crisis. It's possible, N not on this show. Um, anyway, no, not, yeah, no, exactly, not on this show. Um, I I I, but I think I think that if if uh, you know, and there's some amazing look we we all know who they are the bruce fentons of this world with his wife carol ann who, who do the cetacean round table i you know and I, i'm very close with those guys and 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 you know was in loco parentis for them when they decided to come over to dubai for example to to, to bring that over there and I, and i and they they are they are absolutely brilliant people uh, Mike Lamar of, of Paris Blockchain Week. I'm one of the VIP ambassadors for that. So I'm going to be emceeing uh, the Venus stage for two days and I'll be moderating a panel there. So I think you can already see that I'm not interested in just being, mm, I'm the digital Commonwealth, go come do my stuff. No. You know, we've got Ralph. I'm a, I'm a founding partner of, of, the, of Crypto Oasis in that sense. And, you oh, know, that's and, super. and you know, and, and and was there at the very beginning. Um, all of these initiatives have a home. You know, they 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 do their. Own, I mean, the guys at Token Twenty Forty Nine, amazing, 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 amazing. But if we can all work together, then you know, and provide a sort of a continuity, then it's got to be a good thing. That, that's really where I'm coming from. So I'm just I'm, I'm all about collaboration. It's not just your organization or your network or your movement. It's sure that you're going you know, to maybe have a little bit of organizational core, but it's tapping into all these other valuable networks and experiences because you have a common push you're trying to accomplish. And you've been, you've been around long enough and contributed that. enough that you have the channels open where you guys can share the, the digital commonwealth, like, you, like, like you're saying. Yeah. Stronger together. Nice. Good. Yeah, Good. much together. And I believe... Uh, it's fair to say, I'll go back to Loretta Joseph. Um, mm. Tomorrow, um, I don't know when you're going to release this um, Pro video. Probably Wednesday, but, but maybe I'll do it before if you want me yeah, to. Well, actually, it's probably, okay, then Then, then let's just pretend it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Right? It's Wednesday. Okay, it's well, Wednesday. Great yeah, sure. It's my yeah. dog Luna's fourth birthday today. Yeah. That's why we're releasing it on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, so yesterday uh, in Zanzibar at the um, at the Commonwealth Legal Ministers gathering there, mm -hmm. I think you'll find that Loretta might have had something to do with something called the Virtual Asset uh, Model Law for the whole Commonwealth. Okay, interesting. Um, uh, she and Bruce, you know, I, I run this crypto channel in UAE. She and Bruce Fenton have diverging points of view doesn't matter okay. um it doesn't matter that's that, that that everyone everyone has different views everyone can that's the joy of the world right mm -hmm. but one thing that is true and that is that the commonwealth itself is 56 countries two and a half billion people Imagine how cool it is if there is a regulatory framework that is adopted by the entire block that enables countries that who can't necessarily afford to spend money on regulatory frameworking suddenly can adopt a, a regular a, a regulatory framework that works.
All right, now let, let me ask you, and yes, Loretta is awesome. I, I've had her on our show a few years ago, but Vara in Dubai says, says that the framework that they adopted was done with the intent that it be copied so there'd be consistency among different jurisdictions. Have you, and that's a little bit of a tangent, have you had a chance to look at the but Vara? It, it, no, I, no, I, I think uh, I think the other two, uh, ironically, I think the other two, um, ADGM, I think Oliver Lynch is, um, was in very in, in instrumental in that. And what's the other, DIFC, is it? DIFC. Right, well, those two, those two um, are based on English law, aren't they? Yes. Voila. So... Well, but just, just so you know, VARA is not the normal Emirati type of agency. It has its English rule book. And it's, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But, I, but I'm, 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 I, I love Vara, by the way, because you know, I, I, you know, I mean, I mean, you know, I'm my friend James Bernard and all the rest of it. We, yeah. um, uh, we uh, spoke a, a lot with with Vara, and I think they're doing an amazing job. Um, and and then again, every every country has its, sorry, every jurisdiction can have its own interpretation, but. Mm. I just I just love the fact that there is this this um this thing that's coming that um can only be a good thing. I agree. All right. So in, the, in a couple of minutes we have left. What, what's your you kind of said it, but what's your future vision about how you're going to grow and connect the Commonwealth? They, it's, it's the whole premise is connectivity. How do you how do you get people? I mean, I, 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 c c consistency. I hope. I mean, obviously, it I mean, look, I mean, I can't write the check every time we do one. Um, so, you know, my plea to to the, my industry is, is, you know, get behind it, support it. Um, you know, I've got wonderful partners already with uh, Brittany Kaiser from Shatoshi, mm -hmm. uh, Nia Foundation, um, Astrea Group. Um, and as an event partner, we had Clearbank. And that 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 was that that's just the start. Um, but by having a consistency, and my plan is to do the Mansion House Summit Series six times a year for the next six years. That's going to be hectic. So I, I want people to contribute it's, their money it's, and their time. Yeah, but I think I think. But again, it goes back to the consistency side of things. But I might. I, I hope I don't fail in this one. I think I, because I think it's too important. But I think that. Um, you know, bringing bringing the industry together to be able to have. I mean, not it's not. You know, I'm not talking about a mutual, um, you know, uh, loving thing. I'm talking about genuinely. And I think that if people um, look to the testimonials from the event that we 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 just had, I can you get the vibe of, as to the direction of travel that I want to go. And I just have genuine um, uh, debate about the industry and how we can make it better. I, um, I the photos rather, of the rather than it just being look, I've got a nice new shiny toy, right? Right. It's not. It's not about selling things to people. This is about how we work together and how we can progress things. Makes a ton of sense. And I was saying, I, I saw the photos. I saw people talking about it publicly and privately, and the, the response was very positive. That's what triggered me. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm actually, I'm pretty overwhelmed by that, but it's now obviously, <laughs> it's, it's just, okay, right, let's get busy. Um, you know, and I think that there are there are some cool things that we might be able to do. Um, I've been talking to some people about Davos next year, um, working with them. Again, as I say, collaborative effort. I mean, Ralph, Ralph, as you, I mean, Ralph, you know, Ralph, the wonderful Ralph. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, I just, I mean, and the other one I've got to shout out um, uh, is Ahmed bin Salem, who yes. the DMC is just an astonishing um, testament to somebody's vision and drive. I mean, he's a wonderful brother and love him dearly. I mean, I just don't know where he gets his energy from. Though. It's probably the coffee. <laughs> God, God only knows. Have you been to his office and he grinds the coffee for you and he makes it? It's it's a whole scene. Well, I, he, he, he met, uh, went out to the farm and, and we brewed... Um, in his very particular manner, with the lid off the um, the lid off the the is it the Biagiatio order? You know the espresso machine, beautiful yeah. thing with the Bunsen burner, you know campfire thing, and and we had to proceed to have some very nice um, uh, Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee. It was great. Have you? Yeah, have you I mean, he's, uptown? He, 
I, 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 I've, I've done one better. I, I viewed Uptown whilst it was under construction, um, and I, and, 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 and very, very bad. James took a selfie um, out of his bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the, but I'll, it wasn't in the bathroom that. then, but I think it's where the bathroom's going to be. But it's on the seventy fifth floor. <laughs> I, I, I saw it also. It's it, it's amazing. It's stunning. Yeah, yeah. It's, and 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 as as I said, I mean, you know the the potential. I mean, I, I'm 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 hopefully going to announce a a, a new um uh, um I'm, I'm just I'm just I've, I've said yes, but I won't I won't reveal it yet. But I'm going to uh, join the advisory of a of a of a a very cool project that's been germinate, you know, in you know, germinating for some time. But again, it's in the commodity space for, for you know, and really, you know, a bit like tea and you know, uh, you know, those sorts of commodities. I mean, you know, just it's going to be very, very cool. Great. Yeah. All right, James, it, it's been epic. This, this went twice as long as I expected, but I, I'm we, sorry, and there's so no, much no, more to say. <laughs> it was interesting anyway. the whole time. So I, I'm going to hit the record button, just wrap this one up. But if you would be kind enough to come back from time to time and keep us posted on, on everything. Yeah, you no, I'd love to. And, and, and absolutely. Great. Then, you know, come, and, and if anyone's coming to Paris Blockchain Week, uh, hit me up. I'm going to be there. Uh, so you there. know what? We're going to put links and everything else in the show notes so people can reach you and, and join and follow along and contribute. Yeah, great. All Amazing. the spirit of the Digital Commonwealth. The Digital Commonwealth, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, hitting... Record. Thanks, everyone.